We're going to Sprouts. Is it getting a bath? What's it doing? That was extremely stressful. Um, now we're at Costco for literally one thing. Did I say this is stressful? <sighs> oh my goodness. Something I've not mentioned <laughs> is Mia starts school in about two weeks. So I will be able to do all my grocery shopping when she is at, in school. So. Also, I lied. I did get eggs from Costco. I've been buying them in bulk so that I'm encouraged to make more eggs and it's actually been working because I went through 24 eggs in about two weeks. So yeah, I also got tuna, like a bunch of it. It is the solid white albacore tuna. It was only like 13 something and we've been going through a lot of tuna too, so. Okay, but for the sprout stuff, I'm going to show you what I got as I put it away. This is, this is not how I intended the video to go, but that's just how it goes with having a toddler is you have to wing things. So I'm gonna start with the meat because it really needs put in the refrigerator. Everything that I got from Sprouts all together was about $64. It was weird because I had a whole list that I was trying to follow and I just kept seeing things that I was like, this is a good deal as far as like meat, I'll get into the rest, but I kept adding stuff and my cart was full and I had, I always take cash with me when I go shopping. I'd rather do like a cash budget because when I use my card, I'm just like, woo, swipe, swipe, swipe. So I had cash with me and I had like a 90 something, I think like $93. I felt like I had spent like $100 based off of the amount of things in my cart. And I was like, okay, I gotta stop. I actually like put something back because I felt like I had spent so much money and it when i got to the register like i was like holding my breath like did i go over my budget and it was 64 dollars. i was like can i go back but i couldn't go back because mia was like Woo. so here's what i got as far as like meat we like never get turkey and i was like thinking when i saw these okay so these are huge turkey drumsticks for four dollars and two cents what? I was like, um, we're having turkey this weekend. So, got that. I'm just gonna put everything in the refrigerator and organize it later. It, this yeah. is a frozen tuna I got that was like $7.99. The Asian Grill rubbed. Two fillets. I've never seen it less than, unless you get like a huge bulk of it. Okay, so I was really excited to see that. They had a couple other flavors. I got a couple of these. Yeah, I only got two. These are beef thin cut breakfast steaks. This one was $2.59 and this one was $3.01. My husband is that weirdo that will go somewhere that's like a bre breakfast place and get steak because he wants like steak and eggs. And to me, I'm like, you get steak at a steakhouse, like restaurant, like where you know it's gonna be good. And he always is like, he'll tell them what uh, cook he wants it, like medium rare. And he, it comes out and it's just like this thin piece of like jerky because it's like, Anyway, um, so I got these and was like, I might like make them all at once and have, um, be able, and then just like cook up some eggs before he goes to work in the morning. And that can be like his breakfast. I think he'll be pretty excited about that because he actually likes that. So he w we were like literally having that discussion yesterday because I made breakfast and had like a toast and he ate everything like the eggs and tuna 
and left the toast and I was like, why don't you want that? And he was like, I don't like carbs first thing in the morning. It's like, I just like protein. So those are perfect and the price like you cannot beat. So I was really excited about that. I got these strips, this uh, extra loin, loin strips beef for stir fry. Um, I wanna do uh, fajitas tomorrow. Um, and these were 441 and it's like the perfect size for the two of us. They also had like big packs of meat you could get to but that we're just the two of us and we don't really eat leftovers that much so i thought that worked out pretty well i need to put the eggs away so my main like purpose of going to sprouts was to stock up on produce i if you guys saw my brand list video I've been like a little obsessed lately with healthier snacks. Like our pantry is like full with like good snacks and our fridge had gotten like bare. So I was like, okay, we need to restock the refrigerator. I was pretty excited seeing like the deals that they had. I got these tomatoes. I honestly can't tell you what the price was. It was a good deal. They have this, so Sprouts does deals kind of like Publix where it'll be like two, two for five or something like that. I need to look at my receipt and check to see if I got things at like one price. Actually, I'm gonna do that, okay. Sprouts. Let's find the bread. Okay, what is that? Three bakers. I know it's on sale two for seven, but I wasn't sure is it was 350 for one i was afraid they were gonna like charge me what it would be not like not on sale three bakers gluten-free bread white bread they had like ones with seeds in it and like a, an ancient grain i was in um, i don't really get gluten-free bread but i was curious to try and since it was such a good deal i was like i'll go ahead and get it to try i got two limes those will go in a bowl two avocados one will go with fajitas that we have tomorrow. I just got three bananas. I got an onion for the fajitas. Cilantro, I'm gonna make like pico for the fajitas. I got one red bell pepper for the fajitas. You wanna sit up here? Can you say hi? Hi. Say, I'm, a, say, I'm the reason mommy's gonna be put on some anti-anxiety medicine for going to the store. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, good job, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, no, 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 oh, okay, I can't do it, B, C, T, C, S, say T, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z, popsicle um so they have um where like their deli meat some like little packages popsicle <laughs> of like deli meat for like super cheap like i got this for my husband because like we were just talking about he's more of a meat eater and less of a carb eater. I feel like all couples are like that. Like my best friend and her husband are the opposite. Like he's the bread eater and she like could take it or leave it. And I'm like, I could like live off of bread. Like given the choice between like a plain, just a burger patty or like a sandwich of lettuce and tomato, I would rather eat the sandwich of lettuce and tomato than the burger patty. Like people that do the, the lettuce wraps. Do you want down? I do not understand because I, I like have to have bread, but I'm trying to like do better, which that's another video for another day of ex if, if you guys have kept up with like all of the little vlogs that I've done as far as like our diet and all that, and it's not really a diet, but anyway, I'll explain it all in another video. Okay.
I got, this is another thing for my husband, which I'm excited about. Like I thought about making like an omelet with some of it and I'm like getting, we're both kind of getting burned out on pork. I did get that pepperoni for him and I think he'll eat it. But um, we, I get ham a lot. Like I get ham from Costco and he'll go through um, one package from Costco of ham in like a week and he'll just go and eat it like it's a snack. I got turkey to kind of switch things up and be a, a little better. This is chili pepper turkey breast. So anybody that knows Chris knows that he loves peppery food. This was $5.21 for this package, which I felt like this was a really good deal because if you go to like Walmart or Publix or something and get like the Hillshire Farm, that stuff is expensive, I feel like. And it's a it's like less than this, and it's like six dollars if you get like the big family size uh package of it. But I thought this was a really great deal. I thought about like there's a good bit of things like you do wraps because I got some tortillas for the um I didn't get lettuce for the fajitas. Also, I got that so the gluten-free bread was like a really good deal. That's like a big reason why I got it. I looked at gluten-free tortillas and oh my gosh, those things are so expensive. I was like, how do people who suffer from celiac, how do you not go bankrupt? Because it's insane, but I don't see how people do it because like it's so expensive. Okay, I did get some berries. I got some blackberries and strawberries. I could look at my receipt. They're $2.99 for blackberries. The strawberries were also $2.99. Thank you, Mia. Good job. You good job. Good job. Good job. Go ahead and show two. What I like about sprouts is they have to sell things in bulk, kind of like this. But you also don't have to buy the bulk. You can put it in your own bag. And last but not least, I got a few things from the bulk bin. Two things from the bulk bin. I got some granola where you just like help yourself and then write down um, a little bit of granola. This was vanilla macaron or macaron. I thought that sounded good. It has a little bit of like flavored almonds in it. It smells really good. Also got chia seeds. They had those there. The chia seeds I spent 47 cents on and the granola I spent 88 cents on. They price it per pound clearly. So that was everything. Bye. Bye. Say so once I'm in school, mommy will be able to go do some real shopping. Oh. This is what I've been doing with all day. Okay, yesterday afternoon was a little crazy. I actually thought about like not even posting the video because it was just like one of those crazy afternoons. Um, it wasn't exactly like a bad day. I don't like saying bad day or good day because all good days have bad moments and all bad days have good moments. So with rolling with the punches is kind of how we do things. The stage Mia's at right now, it's not exactly that easy taking her multiple places and we've been going and going and going all week. We have not had a day until today that we haven't left the house and so we both really needed to just kind of chill today. So yesterday she was just kind of done. You guys didn't see any footage from her kind of like melting down and sprouts but we made it through. Um, it's just one of those times where you have to like kind of reflect on the good, good parts of the week or the day or whatever and just keep going because it happens. Um, I don't feel like completely keeping her from going to the grocery store with me once she does start school is like going, that's not going to happen. I think to get her through this stage, she does need to be exposed to it. That's just like my style of parenting. You can do what you want with your own kids whether you have them or when you do, or if you don't, or if they're grown, whatever. That's just what I'm choosing to do. I don't think it's one of those things where I'm like, I'm never taking her to the store again because I know that's not realistic and she'll have to learn by just like experiencing it. So yeah, that's how it went. Um, but we made it through. I've actually, since I did all of that yesterday and showed you guys, we've actually tasted a good bit of the stuff that I got. The tuna from Costco was really good. I had some for breakfast this morning. I wish I had shown you guys the breakfast I made because I made Chris one of those steaks and some of the potatoes and then I had um, the tuna on some avocado, on an avocado English muffin with some eggs. So my kitchen was like a disaster this morning, but it was kind of fun because we both had like our own little plate. Um, 
so next time I need to show you guys what we're making. But yeah, Mia is napping right now and it is late afternoon. I'm getting kind of hungry, so let's make a smoothie bowl. Okay, so I have a good bit of the stuff that I got yesterday from Sprouts. I'm trying to think if there's, the only thing that's not from Sprouts are the acai packets from Trader Joe's. These are unsweetened. I actually tasted the granola last night when I was putting everything away and it is so good. I'm gonna have to go get like two pounds of it because I just got like a little bit, I put it in here. I wasn't sure if I'd like it or anything and I wasn't comfortable tasting it there. It's so good, it's so flavorful which makes me think that there might be like a lot of sugars and stuff in it but this is just kind of like a treat and it's being balanced out by the fruit and everything right so i um, also put the chia seeds in this little container that i got from dollar tree which i this color is kind of like a theme for me but i took this morning some of the chia seeds and put them in with some almond milk to kind of absorb it so that it's i'm not just putting the raw seeds on there it didn't bubble up like they usually do. It's still not going to be like the seeds like straight up because I don't really care for that. So I mushed up the packet. It says just to leave it frozen until you're ready to eat it. So I did, I ran it under some like warmish water and now it's all mushed up. I'm going to put it in the bowl. I am doing a snack size because I know like when you go to one of those places that sells like the smoothie bowls, they're huge and there's like a ton, but this is just a snack. I'm just trying to be modest with it. I'm not like trying to get super full off of this. This is just between lunch and dinner snack to hold me over. There's still like chunks of ice in it. I'm doing like layers here. So now I'm gonna do the chia seeds with the almond milk. Okay, it's not layering, it just went right in. So I'm just gonna mix it then. One more time. I'm so excited about this. Then I have a few strawberries and blackberries. Okie dokie. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, here's what it looks like all done. It is more like a cereal, basically, because the um, I thawed the packet out too much, but it's okay. It'll it'll do. It'll be delicious. My lips are purple now and my teeth probably are too but that was really good <laughs> okay thank you for watching if there's any other videos that you'd like to see more of see more of mia whatever let me know and we'll work on it have a good day